Hello YouTube, this is Robert Ness 816 and I'm here today to talk about a very annoying topic that's popped up and that's the blinking red light of death myth for the NES. This is something that's just come up recently within I want to say the last year or so. It's really fucking annoying and stupid. So basically people have been starting this stupid thing where they say their NES has a blinking red light of death. Now, for the last 30 years, this has been known as dirt. Dirt? Why do I say dirt? Because it's from your games being dirty. And you can also recreate the issue simply by turning on your NES console without a game in it. And then you'll get this. The blinking red light of death and the flashing screen thingy and all the other crap that's associated with a simple issue. So the reason why you get the blinking light of death is either your 72 pin connector in your NES is dirty, your game is dirty, or both. It is not because your lockout chip is dead. The reason why people think that is because if we do some simple looking at the board here, we can follow this ground trace up to the lockout chip and oh my god, it goes right to the lockout chip. Jesus, crap on a stick. Oh look at that, there's another one that goes right to the lockout chip right there, this too. And there's more on the other side, too. I believe it's actually this one, I think. But anyways, so the issue is dirt. So these pins being on the end here, these don't get cleaned as well as these other pins when you're trying to use any of the methods that you guys use to clean up these pins. I like to use an up and down motion, and I also like to use electrical contact cleaner or a pencil eraser. So cleaning these games is all that you need to do. Cleaning the 72 pin connector is all that you need to do. And here we have a copy of Roller Games that is nice and clean and I'm going to put it into a nice clean NES. And what's gonna happen guys? Is it gonna work? Is it not gonna work? Oh it's gonna work. Wow. It actually works. I don't have to put another cartridge on top of my NES. I don't have to wiggle my game around. I don't have to smack the side of the NES. I don't have to use Windex or sandpaper or whatever it is that you guys made up that you decided to use on this thing to fix a problem that doesn't exist. So, the issue is clean your damn games. Stop spitting on them. Stop blowing on them. Stop doing things that are stupid. That's all that you need to do is clean up your games, clean up your NES, and that's it. You can say, oh, I'll just put in a new pin connector, sure, but those pins have steel pins. Aftermarket pin connectors, anyway, have steel pins instead of uh, dull chromed brass, so what that's going to do is wear away at your cartridges over time, not to mention it's going to have a death grip on your games because steel doesn't like to let go of things once it's grabbed onto them. And also, if you have a Comerica game and you stick it into an aftermarket 72 pin, good luck getting that game out of your NES. It's not going to happen. So, the moral of the story is clean your NES. That's it. Don't use sandpaper. Don't use Windex. Don't use Brasso. Don't use anything that's not designed for electronics. And don't use anything that contains ammonia in it. Ammonia is corrosive, especially to soft porous metals, which electronics happen to use. And also, since electronics have this thing called electricity going through them, it creates a phenomenon known as electrolysis, which accelerates corrosion. So, yeah, don't use household cleaners to clean electronics. And there's plenty of YouTube videos out there that'll say, how to clean the blinking red light of death, when in fact it's not a blinking red light of death. It's a communications issue caused by the NES's inability to communicate with the 72 pin connector inside of the NES. The console is not dead. It's dirty. And that's all that's causing the problem. Dirt. Not any faulty chips inside the console, not any faulty chips inside the game, not anything. Just dirt. Dirt, 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 dirt. That's all it is. I have other videos that you can watch too on how to properly clean up your NES from basically taking a dirty piece of shit console and turning it into something nice. 
and you know there you go so that's all i have to say about that you guys can bitch and moan at me all you want in the comments section about uh, the blinking red lights are real phenomenon and i use windex to clean my shit and it's fine blah 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 talk to me in a year or so and see what happens guys thanks for watching